how to install RAM memory into Apple PowerBook G3 Pismo. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do a memory upgrade um, into the Apple PowerBook G3 uh, Pismo. So I'm going to show you right now how much memory is exactly installed and what software it's using. So as you can see right there, it's using Mac OS X version 10.4.11 and it's uh, the processor is a 500 megahertz PowerPC G3 processor and the memory right now installed in one of the slots is a 128 megabyte SD RAM module and so for 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 information purposes it's running very slow under 128 megabyte of SD RAM so um, I had to do a memory upgrade onto my PowerBook so I'm going to switch it off and go right ahead and do so so here it goes There it goes. Anyway, it's switched off now. So, put that down. Now what you can do, take that off. And take the airport card out. Also, you'll see right here, is a lever. Which you need to take out the battery that's inside. So, I'm going to do that right now. You don't want any current to flow right through there. So, that's out. Sorted. So turn it over, right, and open it again. Open it again. So I'm going to show you the memory that I'm going to be installed, uh, which is going to be installed. And here it is. It's a Kingston memory module. Sorry about the video quality, but I'll try to adjust it as best as I can. Um, I think it'll be better like this. Here we go. Oh, it's a Kingston memory module and it's a SODIM SD RAM 144 pin PC 100 memory RAM module which I'm going to be in, which is going to be installed so here it goes uh, first of all you're gonna to have to start by taking this keyboard off now what you need to do is you'll see two clips between F8 and F9 keys and uh, the ESC and the F1 key so you need to use two hands for this so I'm just going to put the video down while I like to do this so I'm going to put it just like that uh, I don't know if you can see but just click him off like that and just li lift it off and just place it on top of the trackpad like so so now you see the inners, inner bits of the actual power book. You see the hard drive there, and this is the actual bit where you need to get at. Now it's shielded. The, the actual RAM, um, RAM memory slots is shielded, so you need a screwdriver, which I have right here, and basically just take the two screws off. So which I'm going to do right now, carefully. So that's one that down there and the other one like so so that's that done and now the metal bit you just have to just take off so it's really simple it just comes off like so so now you'll see that actual memory slot so I'll get the memory and basically get that in place like so and give it a little push like that and then all you've got to do is put a bit of pressure and just click it in and you'll hear the click which I'm got which you'll probably hear now and now you know it's in place because you'll see the silver clips that secure the actual RAM module in place and then you know it's in Okay, so all you have to do now is get the actual metal plate again and stick it back in. So I'm just going to do so right like that. It's a bit 
fidgety, but you have to work at it. There you go. So now that's in place. Get the screws back in. Like so. That's one. Get the other one in. So there we go. So now you see that's securely in place and screws back on. So what you have to do now is carefully just put back the keyboard in place. And then like you did before, the clips are I'm gonna show you right now. That's one in and then the other one next to the F1 key. Stick that in. So there you go, it's in. So we put the battery back in like so and just go straight in without any worries whatsoever get my airport card back in there as well and then get the power cord in there like so and now attempt to start the computer back up again so I'll press the power cord Okay, here it goes, like so. Just wait for it to come on. Such a beautiful Apple Power book. That was the Apple Chime. Just wait for it to start up. And it should do so, like so. Just wait for it to load up. Yes, now it's, it's gonna go a lot more faster presumably should do because it's got a 512 megabyte RAM module which I've installed now so wait for it to load up mm -hmm. it is still such a beautiful laptop Loaded up very, very fast. Loaded up very, very fast. Let's wait for it to fully load up. There we go. So let's go and check system profiler. Uh, like so. Oh, it's not fully loaded up yet. Well, there we go. And about this Mac. Here we go. That was really quick. It came up really quick because I remember clicking on that before, and it came, took forever. And now it come up really quick. So there you go. You see again, and the memory has been bumped up to 640 megabyte of SD RAM. Fantastic stuff. So that's how you put RAM memory um, into a PowerBook G3. Fantastic. Thanks very much. Bye.